The ANSI Standard Quality Information Framework, known as QIF, is a feature-based ontology of manufacturing quality metadata built on XML technology and semantically linked to the CAD model. A group of leading CAD and metrology software providers have teamed up to demonstrate a state-of-the-art digital metrology workflow for IMTS 2016. The starting point for this workflow is a CAD model with PMI in either PTC Creo or SOLIDWORKS. Then we run through the following processes. The QIF model is generated. Balloon numbers are added and measurement resources are assigned to PMI. Caliper measurements are carried out. And a CMM workflow is carried out. After all of this, we have a QIF MBD model, QIF plan data, and a set of QIF results data. This data can now be cross-referenced, analyzed, and visualized by a variety of software packages. Let's take a deeper look. In this demonstration, we'll start with a model with 3D PMI created in PTC Creo. The first step is to create a derivative QIF MBD model, which will contain all the tags necessary to maintain full associativity with the authority Creo model. Capvidia's MBD Video for Creo is a plugin that sits directly inside of Creo. It uses Creo APIs to query the model and PMI and build an exact duplicate of the model in the ANSI QIF format. Exporting the QIF model is as simple as just clicking the QIF export button. Here we see the XML code behind our new QIF model. Opening the QIF model in CapVidia's MBD Vidya application, we can compare the annotations in the Creo model with the annotations in the QIF model. As you can see, the QIF PMI matches the Creo model's PMI visually, and all the Creo saved views are reflected as well. But most importantly, the PMI is semantically associated with the underlying geometry, which means that downstream software can consume this data in meaningful ways. Next, the QIF model is passed to IPI Solutions' Visual IPI family of software, which automates first article inspection, PPAP, ISIR, and inspection plans. The 3D model is first loaded into Visual MBD. Visual MBD automatically generates 2D images of each of the saved views in the 3D model, including all the Geometric Dimensioning and Tolerancing, or GD&T, and notes. Visual Fair then consumes the model and automatically creates characteristic identification, which then cascades into any documentation. These documents, typically known as first article inspection documents, PPAP documents, and initial sample inspection reports, contain all the dimensions, tolerances, and general notes that were found on the model. Visual Fair can also easily assign measurement equipment or operations making it easy to create control plans, inspection plans, and stage drawings. These assignments are also automatically cascaded into any first article documents. Finally, the Visual QIF application can export all of this information in the ANSI QIF format, enabling downstream applications to easily access this data in a standard format. Now that the MBD and plan has been packaged into the QIF document by IPI Solutions software, it is ready to be consumed by both the caliper measurement workflow and the CMM measurement workflow. First, we will run through the caliper measurement workflow. Three characteristics on the model have been identified as characteristics that should be measured with Mitutoyo's absolute Digimatic model caliper. This is a digital caliper whose data is automatically managed by Mitutoyo's MeasureLink software application. First, the QIF plan data is imported into MeasureLink. Three characteristics from the QIF plan have been selected by Visual IPI to be measured with a caliper and these appear on the screen. 
the caliper is then assigned to these characteristics. After specifying some basic information about this measurement run, MeasureLink is ready for the measurements. MeasureLink guides the user through the measurement process using an easy to read interface. In this scenario, each characteristic is measured twice using the calipers. Once the data is gathered, the export wizard is used to create the QIF results data. This QIF results data is fully traceable to the QIF MBD model. These measurements are now complete and the QIF results data is placed in our data repository for analysis and visualization. We will now take a step back and go over the CMM measurement workflow, which involves the creation of a high-level CMM measurement plan using Metrosage's Pundit CMM software, then the creation and execution of a DEMIS program on a CMM by Origin International's Checkmate software, and finally, analysis of GDT using Codem's Smart Profile software. Pundit CMM is an advanced simulation tool for calculating CMM based measurement uncertainty on a task specific basis. Using Pundit CMM, a user can make use of these calculated measurement uncertainty values to help create an optimal sampling plan for all the characteristics on the QIF model. Pundit CMM is built on the QIF format which allows for easy import and export of measurement-related data. In this video, the model geometry and gd &T are imported from the QIF model. Then, sampling points are applied to the model, and measurement resources are chosen for measurement. After this, the Pundit simulation will calculate task-specific measurement uncertainties for each tolerance on the model measured with the given equipment. These results can then be used to refine the measurement plan and make it more suitable for the task at hand. Once an adequate measurement plan has been created, it is exported in QIF format for consumption by the Checkmate CMM programming software. Checkmate will input the high-level inspection plan from Pundit CMM generate an ISO standard DEMIS CMM program to drive our CMM, and then output the measured points to the QIF results format for analysis. To do all of this, the QIF data from Pundit is imported into the SOLIDWORKS environment using CapVidia's FormatWorks software. As you can see, all geometry and PMI has been imported. Now, the Checkmate browser is opened. This powerful inspection tool will contain the CMM program once it has been created. Before the program is loaded, the orientation of the part on the CMM must be decided, and a representation of the probe, including qualified angles and tips, must be loaded. Checkmate will import the same QIF model once again, this time importing the plan information. Using the QIF data in conjunction with the orientation of the part on the CMM and the probe data, Checkmate automatically builds a CMM program, including CMM sensor attributes, probe path, feature ordering, probe collision avoidance, etc. A simulation of the program can be executed in Checkmate, which will detect any collisions that may take place. Using the Checkmate browser, it is easy to change the program as needed, reorder features, approach retract distances, sensor attributes, tolerances, tolerance values, etc. This program is ready to be exported for execution, so a DEMIS program can now be generated. This program is specifically tailored to run optimally on a Renishaw equator, the CMM that will be used in this demonstration. Running the DEMIS program on the Renishaw equator creates a DEMIS out file with the results. This can be loaded into Checkmate for analysis and export. While Checkmate is fully capable of evaluating gd &T results, analyzing them, and generating reports, for this demonstration, we will be exporting a QIF results document with the raw point cloud data. This data will then be handed off to Smart Profile for analysis.
The raw point cloud data in QIF results format will then be processed by CODEM's Smart Profile software, a leader in measurement data analysis and evaluation. First, the QIF model is imported into Smart Profile. Next, we scan through the QIF file once again and extract the PMI. Then, we import the QIF results data from Checkmate. We are now ready to run an evaluation of the GDNT following the criteria set forth in ASME Y14.5 1994, which is the standards document specified in the QIF model. Once the evaluation is complete, we see the results of our measurement in a clear graphical display including the pass or fail symbol. The results are also overlaid on the 3D model to help provide context for the data. Once we have completed the evaluation of the measurements, we can now export the GD&T evaluation results to a QIF results file and place them in our data repository. We will now turn the page and look at the analysis and visualization of measurement results. We now have CAD and PMI data, measurement plan data, and measurement results data available for analysis in our data repository. Using Origin's Checkmate engine, the QIF results go directly into NetInspect. Both the supplier and the customer can review measurement results in real time using a report called the Part Quality Zones. When we select our model, you will immediately notice the different colors. Results are color-coded based on their percentage from nominal and are classified into color-coded sigma bands. Any out-of-tolerance measurement results are displayed in red. Each row represents an item in the inspection plan. On the left side of the screen, you can review the specification information, and on the right side, you can see the most recent 20 measurement results for each feature. You can mouse over or click a measurement to view even more measurement details. Here, we selected an out-of-tolerance measurement result, which displays the cause and corrective action specified on the non-conformance e-tag. Above the run charts, we can review some of the standard SPC data, such as CP, CPK, and the always updating real-time CPK. The same part can be viewed using NetInspect's capability charts. On the capability charts, we can see where all of the data collected within the company for a part, for a feature, and more fall in relationship to the nominal. As you can see, when the QIF format is used, a tremendous amount of data and insight can be consistently captured, analyzed, and shared across internal manufacturing facilities and from suppliers around the world. To produce and share these actionable results and analytics, NetInspect needs accurate specifications and accurate measurements. The ANSI QIF format makes this possible. Quality Expert is a tool for creating jobs from imported ballooned parts data, recording measurement data, providing traceability and queue alerts and data, and quality inspection reports. Quality Expert is a QIF-enabled, web-based product. First, we will log in to Quality Expert using a web browser. Next, we import the QIF MBD and the QIF plan data used throughout this workflow. From here, we will update the inspection details in Quality Expert to set inspection frequencies. We can now view the 3D model in our web browser, complete with the plan information. Next, we will import the measurement results that were carried out earlier. When these are loaded, the results are automatically matched up with their tolerances in the viewer and color-coded according to their pass-fail status. Additional manual measurement results can also be added to the model as needed. We can now carry out process capability studies from our measurement data. Quality Expert easily allows you to visualize your process capability with a variety of different study types. It's even possible to carry out gauge R&R studies.
Our QIF data now contains CAD, PMI, measurement plans, and measurement results, all linked together in one complete package. All of the data is easily navigated and is all mapped directly to the CREO Authority model. Let's take a look at this QIF data in CAPVIDIA's MBDVIDIA application. Browsing the model tree in MBDVIDIA, we can observe the feature actual data from the QIF document. These are the geometries of the given features as measured by the CMM. We can also observe the characteristic actual data from the QIF document, the GD and T evaluation results of the CMM measurement. Note how this data is semantically connected to the 3D model in a way that software applications can easily access it. Bringing up the Bill of Characteristics table in MBD Video allows us to view all the tolerances on the model in a tabulated format. Each tolerance's measurement result is colored in blue or red, depending on whether that particular value is within tolerance or not. Selecting a characteristic in the table highlights the annotation in the 3D view and shows an indicator bar which displays the measured result for that tolerance. This once again highlights the connectivity between the model and the tolerance and measurement results metadata. This workflow illustrates how QIF can help set you and your organization on the path to model-based enterprise. A special thanks to the software providers shown here for their support for standards and for their participation in this workflow demonstration. Visit us at qifstandards.org to find out more about QIF-enabled software or to find out how you can take part in the development of this ANSI standard.